Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. I have a very special video for you today. I have a very special longtime friend here with me. This is Lessa Lamb. Hey guys. I get to, or she is coming and visiting the great state of Texas, and I am so thrilled to be able to see you and spend time with I'm you. I'm so like, excited to be with you guys. I get to Start show again. Lessa how to crochet. So I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial showing her how to crochet, and I'm hoping that by you watching someone actually learn how to crochet, that we can go through all the steps that maybe you're going through, maybe hit up some of the hiccups, the roadblocks that you are coming into contact with by just kind of following along. Yeah. So I do have two cameras that are going to be recording us. The front camera that's going to see our interaction and I have a back camera that's going to be seeing what we're seeing. So Les, are you ready to get started? Yeah. What is your dominant writing hand? I'm a right-handed person. Perfect. Very. So your right hand is going to be your crochet hook hand. That's going to be the hand that you will hold the crochet hook. There are two different ways that you can hold a crochet hook. Okay. One is called the knife hold. See this little skinny part in the middle? Okay. You put your thumb and your middle finger, like squish it like that. Okay. And then just the rest of your fingers kind of hold, hold it, yep. Okay. And so when you would do a crochet stitch, you kind of do this swooping motion. Swoop, swoop, swoop. swoop. The other hold is a pencil hold. So you hold it like you would write a pencil. Yep, basically. And then imagine poking it through a hole and pulling something out of the hole. Poking it through a hole, pulling something out of the hole. So those are the two motions. Okay. We're gonna play with both a little bit, see which one's more comfortable, because some people really prefer this one and some people really prefer this one. Cool. Right? Your other hand is going to be your yarn hand. It's so where you're gonna control the tension of the yarn, how tight the yarn is okay. as you're pulling it through the project. And it's also going to be what holds everything still so you can poke the yarn or the crochet hook into mm -hmm. the hole and pull it out. So it kind of holds okay. everything together. Okay. I think I've got it. Right. <laughs> I, I understand what the hands are gonna be doing. That's the two hands. And I will tell everybody who's watching, I have literally never crocheted before, not in my life, and we did not prepare no. any of this, so there I there was no practice, no though. idea what I'm doing. So you can literally <laughs> to see me learn from scratch, no practice, nothing. So right. it's really exciting. <laughs> this is great. It's All super right. great. I'm so excited. because of that, just wanted to let you know to be patient with yourself. Yeah, and definitely. Be kind to yourself yeah. Yeah. because your hands are going to be doing something that they're going to feel is very weird you're gonna be like going through things and you're like, this is just awkward. And it's mm. because you haven't developed that muscle memory yet. Totally. So one hand's doing one thing, the other hand's doing another thing. So be understanding of yourself. You'll totally. be kind, you'll totally get it. I'm working on self-kindness <laughs> as a general concept right now. So this is good practice for okay, me. Well, there it's you go. good. There you go. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our yarn. I'm getting mine from the inside of the roll. She's gonna grab hers from the outside of the roll. Just kind of, um, unwinds it's just... right pretty much so every yarn project you can put your hook down every yarn project starts with a slip knot okay so i will take the yarn and i'll take my little finger here and i will wrap around and just kind of okay. yep just like that and then pinch it okay and then so the yarn went on top this way so i'm going to tuck it oh i see i have a different middle. thing on top than you do. Okay, so here we go. This, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna go up through and tuck a like a loop through. Yep, exactly. I want that loop. I'm gonna pinch that yarn in the middle. That's the loop, and pinch that yarn in the middle, and then draw it. That's it. That's it. Cool. That's your slip knot. So then you put your hook in that little loopy thing. Okay, hook here. Yep, just like that. So the long part of the yarn that is attached to your ball, go ahead and pull that until it's just snug okay. around your hook. My knot's going here. Okay. Perfect. Snug. This is like tight. If you went too neck. tight, then you grab the little tail and you pull that and it yep. loosens it. Cool. Loose. Yes. Snug. Not too yeah, tight. So you want like gliding on your hook. I glide. Perfect. Yes. Awesome. So if you look at the front of your hook like that, mm -hmm. You'll see it looks like a teardrop. Oh yeah, okay. So all crochet is, is grabbing yarn and pulling it through loops. Grab yarn, pull through loops. Pull through, oh, That's oh, it. Yeah. And okay. if you have that 
knit that niche part uh -huh. facing down to where that teardrop part right, is. Right, it's the shape. Same mm -hmm. like it just glides right through the hole. Yep. Right. Okay. So we've got however you're going to hold your... I'm doing, I'm doing it this way so far. Okay. I mean, okay, this so is, you're going to do it that way? We'll, we'll try it. I don't okay. know. We'll see what works. So this hand, however you're going to hold it, everyone holds it different. No two people hold it the same. Okay. But what you want is you want this one to be tight and you want this one to be tight. Okay, so I'm sort of pulling on both ends. Yep, so however you want to hold it. Some people do this weird finger thing this way. Okay, that's like a... Oh, I, see. I do this weird tuck thing. Cadence does like this thing. But however, you want to hold it. Just make sure one's tight. Both of them are kind of tight. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to do what's called yarning over. Yarning over. So take your hook. Hook goes in front. Push the hook. Push behind. Go up. And now it's kind of like okay. hooked in the little notch, right? Uh-huh. Yep. And then pull it through that little loop. Go in front, go behind, yep. notch, and then pull. Pull through that loop. Got it. All right. Perfect. And then you just chained one. Okay. Oh yeah. You, you just chained one. Perfect. I did a thing. <laughs> you did a thing. Okay. Okay, so now do that again. We push back. Okay. And so push up. back, up, and and down. Oh. Through. That's one thing I love right, about crochets, cool. it's forgiving. So if you ever accidentally drop it, you're like, oh, okay, let me put it back in. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. so if I like pull on it again from both sides, it kind of tightens it down. It does, and these, cool. this is your tension hand. Right. So it controls how tight and how loose it is. Okay. So yeah. then mm -hmm. All right. yeah. you can crochet okay. this chain. This is called a chain. You can make this chain as long as you want. And I actually have a cute little story. Chain. When I was a child, uh -huh. I would make ridiculously long chains. I would just do this, what chain we're doing and right chain now, and, chain and, chain and, chain. and make this super long chain. And for Christmas, I would use it as a Christmas tree decoration, kind of oh, like popcorn yeah. on, yeah. on yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah. And sense. I would decorate the tree with it. And I felt so happy being able to contribute. That sounds awesome. So how's it feeling? It feels great. It's really cool. All right, except my arms are like, I'm like holding, I'm like right? I'm looking at it. I probably can like drop my arms and relax a little bit. And be okay. cautious on how tight you make it, because we're gonna right, go we're back, gonna go back into through it. it, right? So, so if you want to try loose, loose, I'm just yeah, I'll just yeah, keep it go for keep it. Loose or relax. Okay, okay. So see if you can make eleven. Oh, I haven't been counting. So oh. that's easy. Okay. So each V shape, if you look okay, at the stitches, so. they look like little Vs. Right. Each one. V is one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then so this one will be eleven. So, <laughs> I messed it up. Sorry, no swearing on the channel. Yeah. All right, um, yeah, and then we go and do the thing, and then tighten it up a little bit, and get back that's it. All right, that's eleven. Yes. All right. So I chose eleven and not ten because the last chain on your hook is actually called your turning chain. Oh. So that last chain will be what helps you to turn onto the next row. Okay, so I So now that you have thing, this, I think, all right. Just so. turn your work so now this is facing this way and your hook okay. is facing towards it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to skip that first one because that's our turning chain. Okay. Find your second chain from the hook. Second one. So not this one, but this one. They're small. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're too tight. Uh, so not, so not this one, but this one. Yes. This one here. Yep. Oh, no, actually it or, would be this one. Yes, that one. That one. So okay. when you enter that loop, see how there's three three yarns? Yeah. One, two, uh -huh. three. There's like the, put, the bottom part of the V and then there's like a top yes. part. Yes. Yeah. I'll put two on the top and one on the bottom. So I'll actually go right there. So there's oh, two I see. on the so top you go and one on the bottom. Two strings on the top. So that's these two strings. So you're going kind of on the yes. bottom side of the V. I do that because okay. there's cool. a front loop and a back loop. And there are other so stitches one. where they want Here. one specifically. They'll say, do the back loop only or do the front loop only. So, oh, okay. So I'm like, why not just start with having two on the top. Okay, great. Okay, so once you stick that needle or hook through. Okay, I'm hooked, I'm through. Here we go. Gonna Mine looks like yours, mine sort of looks like yours. Yarn over, or however you can get that yarn to like yeah. get in that niche. Okay. 
Okay. And pull it through that space. Through that space. Perfect. Got okay. It. Go ahead and pull it away from your work a little bit. Okay. Just, oh, I see. So it's down so you, on the thing. Mm -hmm. So you have two okay. loops. Do you see your two loops? I see two loops. Okay. Push back and yarn over again. Yarn over. And this time, make sure it's the notch is down so it goes through the teardrop shape and pull through both. Through both of them. Both of them. Oh. Okay, like that. That's a single crochet. Yay! <laughs> I did thing. I'm yes. so excited. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. So okay. in our next space, okay. two strings on the top, one two on the bottom. Top, one on the bottom. Grab and that down. yarn and... Inside. Hold on. You're good. That goes under. And then that goes like this. And goes through. And then I have two loops, right? Yep, exactly. And then I yarn over. over. Again. Okay. Perfect. And, then and I just go make sure those, th yep, that notches down. Through all the way. That's it. Oh my gosh. You got it. Give me a high five. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right. So cool. this is like a mess. All right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and continue okay. through the rest of this row because I want to show you what to do when you've reached the end. Like, great. Okay, this is gonna get really hard because I got ambitious and like tightened everything way down. <laughs> well, that's what's it's gonna great. Be fine. It's practice. practice, practice. We're practicing here. <laughs> All right, so we go through the V part. Yeah, I like doing that too with the cloth and oh, right, yeah. just digging in there. It's just like, because I did it too tight. <laughs> I like how you were doing that, that's great. I'm totally adding that into the video. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Sound effects are important. Yes. <laughs> no, that I don't need to make things quite it's a very, very common thing. I bet it is. Very common. I can imagine. Perfect. Right. Okay, we have reached the end of our first row. Fabulous. So once you've crocheted in that last space, all you do is chain one. So pull back, pull through that loop. Okay. Turn your work. So now oh. you're facing it again. So it was like that, so now you just twist it. So now it's facing that way. Okay, so it goes this way. Yes. Oh. And you keep going. But okay. now you have a clear, these holes. Yeah. Well, so you'll sort of. <laughs> oh, mine, yeah, are, yeah. mine are messy. You are got they, them, you they got look, them. Do they look right? Yes. Right. Cool. So now right. that's so where now you put I'm... your crochet hook. And it mm. is a lot looser than your chain. Okay, okay, true that. All right, so then I go through here, and then I do one, and then I loop, and I do uh, that is there, yep. and that is there, and then I go do the thing, and then it goes through both the things, yep. and it comes out. Yep, Yay. that's it, that's okay. it. Okay, cool. And so then I go through there, and pull one through, and then I have two, and then I loop, and uh, wait, no, this way, that way, that way. Come back. Yeah. That's it. That's okay. It. Oh, I get it. <laughs> this is cool. Yes. And that's it. You just keep okay, doing the so same go, thing. You repeat. All right. Through here, and then I have pull the thing through the ceiling. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is even remotely approaching correct. All right. Let's, go, let's try this way. I go through that way, and then I have two, and then I go through them both. There you go. Again. I feel like this is just like a garbled mess and I'm not going through the same direction at all. I'm like just doing everything. I'm like, that's where you have no to pattern, be patient. There's no habit. Right? There's no like, yeah. It will, totally. Your first few pieces of work will look very sketchy. Cool. No, I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> this is going to be like that's purple where you... people eater. Yes. <laughs> whatever. That's where you're patient with yourself and you're like, For okay, sure. I am still learning. Okay. 
Did I just do that? I think I just did that. that one's. That one. I don't know. Maybe I did the wrong. I one. think you went in the loop behind it. So go ahead and just continue on to the next okay, so this space. One. This one or this that one? That one. Yeah, the one you're in right now. This one. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have yep, two. the two. No, you want the two loops? I do want two. Oh, I've only been doing one. Okay. That's okay. Again, this is going to be a mess. Yes. Um, yes, when you put in. Zero, one. If you have the two, you want the two. Yeah, okay. Yep. Okay. Because yep. if I were to say, I want you to only do the back loop, then you do the back. Or if I only want you to do the front, do the front. So we want both of them. Okay, okay. So then I wasn't doing that. So let's do... There's two. I'm pretty sure that's two. So then I go this way. Yep. Okay. And then that one goes through here. Perfect. And then I do this through both of them. That's it. Okay. So I wasn't doing that before. Okay. Oh, I see. Front loop, back loop. I see. So if like I'm holding it like this, then there's like, I like a this one hole. loop here and there's one loop here. Mm -hmm. And then there's a hole that goes through both of them. That's what I wasn't seeing before. Okay, yes. so then, I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera. There's like a V shape on the top, like the V shapes we were seeing before. And then there's also a hole right here, right? And so I don't want to go through the V shape on the top. I want to go through the hole that's in the kind of like front. Yes. Okay. And then I do the single thing pull through, go through like this, and then I do the, the wrap that's around both of them. That's it. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. That's making more sense. And then this is going to look just like totally different. It's going to be messy, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. So then through the front, pull the thing, do the two loops, then wrap through both and the single. Through the front of both the things, come through. Oops. Have two loops but not through the middle of the yarn getting special with it all right there we go and then this one goes through both perfect all right through this one and then there and then wrap and then through and this is the last one, I think. Yep. Okay. And then... Here. Last one's always a little tricky. Yeah. Okay, in there. Okay. And then... There. Perfect. We've reached the end. And so then, then we, we just chain... Turn it around. Chain one first, because you've got to have that turning chain. Uh-oh. Wait. This So you one? push back up. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So you have that one over, and that right. helps us to turn and it. And then turn it around. I see. And then I've got the loop to go through uh, this way. Yep. Got it. Okay. So then you just go straight into that hole. That's it's not really a hole in mine, but there we go. That one? Nope. This one? That one. Yep, the big one. Oh, oh, okay. One. So the big one, not the little one. All right. So it feels like the second chain, but it's kind of not. Mm -hmm. And literally, you would just continue Okay, and doing then, like, this. the holes are becoming, like, way more yes. obvious. Like, yes, this is super easy to see. And then I'm doing that through both of them. And then I go on to the next one. That's super easy to see. Pull it through. And then I'm not tensioning this any at all. <laughs> it comes. Okay, and then it we comes. go like this and like that. Cadence is probably way better at this than I am. She has had years of practice. I'm, yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> like, mom does the thing. Cadence does the thing. All right, that's two. And then I wrap. And then I do that. This is really cool. <laughs> yeah, I learned a thing. Once you really, really cool. start to get the flow of it, right. then you're not even thinking. It helps me a lot because I'm fidgety. I am too. So I'm I can't such a just, hands person. Like. I can't just sit and watch a movie. I have to be doing something. Yeah. So I'll be watching yeah. a movie and letting my hands do, do your thing. thing. Yep. Yeah. That makes total sense to me. That makes total sense to me. I'm a really like hands oriented person too. Um, I used to work in movie theaters and like uh, when movie theaters weren't digital, I'm old, I guess. <laughs> I'm just old now. It feels, no, feels weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of old, but that's okay. Um, but, like, so film used to be actual film and not just everything on discs. And, like, 
I would build and and break down the actual celluloid movies. Oh, wow. And it was yeah. so tactile and really satisfying for me. And I really loved that job. And I, I would like to go back to movie theater work. Like, it's fun because I love movies and I would just right. watch movies all the time and it's great. <laughs> but, like, it's not as satisfying for me anymore because mm. everything's just like, oh, it's different. a desk and a machine and it just goes and plays a movie, you know? It's like, it's totally different. So different. This is, like, a really satisfying way to, like, have something for my hands to do that's also this creative, I'm making something kind of process. I really like it. Yes, and there's so many different things that you can make with what you're doing. I mean, you can make a scarf. You're on your way to making a scarf right now. Sweet. You could make a blanket. I love scarves. You could make a pillow. You could make... A purse. Can I make leg warmers? Because that's what I all I really want to do. Is you could absolutely make, I leg, make warmers. leg warmers. Yeah, so you sure. would make this as long as you want, crochet it as high as you want, and then you just roll it over and sew it together, and you got a tube. Great. I'm about it. Right. Okay. So then I'm gonna do this, and this is my turning stitch, and then I turn it around, and then I go through this hole, not that one, this one. Yep. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> like, Thanks, Chip. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Oh, thank you so this much. This is super fun. All right. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate your time. This was great. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss... Oh, you're going to subscribe now? I'm going to. Okay. Yeah, duh. Okay, great. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions at all, please ask in the comment section. Before you ask a question, make sure you read the comment section to make sure your question hasn't already been answered. If you want a much more zoomed in close up view on how to crochet everything we just did. Check out my videos. I have a video called the slip knot and the chain stitch. I also have another video on the single crochet. So everything that I just went over with Lessa, you can see just you and me, super, super zoomed in, super close, super slow. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank, for, thank you for just hanging out with us today. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.